Hi, and welcome to my phonics lesson. We're going to start our lesson off with the revisit and review. This is when we revisit our prior learning and have a very quick recap. So for our revisit and review, we're going to play a very quick game of spot the digraph. In a minute, you're going to see a page just like this one I'm holding up, and you're going to write down those digraphs on a piece of paper. Next, you're going to cut out all of the digraphs so that they're all on separate pieces of paper. So now all of my digraphs are all cut out on separate pieces of paper. What you would like to do next with it is up to you. There are many choices. You could play find the digraph, so you could hide the digraphs in different places. Then when I call them out, you have to go and find them. Or you could make it a bit of a game like snap. For example, all of your digraphs could be turned over and then when I call out a sound, you have to find the digraph that matches that sound. Or you can do it just how I've got it now. And I've got all my digraph turned over. And then as soon as it's called out, I'm going to snap it with my hand like this. If you'd like to pause this video at any time because you need more time to find your sound, that's absolutely fine. Ready? Your first sound is A. A as in rain. Ready for sound number two. Your second sound is E, as in a cup of tea. Your third sound is OR, as in August. Your fourth Your sound is th as in the word phone. Next, it is the ER uh sound. For example, in the word twirl sound is the ow sound, as in shout. Your seventh sound is I, such as in the word pie. And last but not least, your eighth sound is the oo sound. Sometimes it makes the oo sound, but it can also make the u sound. I hope you found all of your sounds. Next, we move on to the teach. For the teach part of the session, we introduce a new sound or we recap a prior sound, which is going to be the focus of this phonics okay. session. Now we are on to the teach part of the lesson. So in front of me, I have three different words. Let's read these words and see if we can figure out which sound we are focusing on today. To help me with my reading, I'm going to make sure I remember to do my dots and my slides, looking for any digraphs that I may know. Ready? Or straw. Or thorn. And launch. Launch. They all have the or sound, but there's three different representations. For example, in the word straw, the digraph is with the letter A's and a W. In the word thorn, the digraph is O and the R. And then in the word launch, it's the A and the U. They're all spelt differently. However, they all make the same sound. Can you think of any other word that may have these sounds in them? Maybe you could make a list. Now it's time for the practice. This is your opportunity to use this new sound that you've learned today and apply it at word level. Next is our practice. Here we're going to practice reading these words which all have the or sound at word level. We're going to play the game Name the Alien. Here is my alien in the middle and what your job is is to read the word and figure out which name you think best suits the alien. I'm going to give you a few minutes to do so. Is the alien's name this one? K -l or could his name be Claw? How about ch or t chort? Or we have p or -l Paul. And then we also have f -l or -n Blorn. My blue word over here, k 
or st clost, making sure I remember to blend in all of those consonants as well. St or n storn, or finally p l or n plorn. Now you can decide which word you think best suits for the alien's name. I'm going to give the alien the name Plorm because it sounds like a friendly name for a friendly alien. Our final part of the phonics lesson is the apply. This is when we apply our new sound that we have learned at sentence level. Finally, we are now on to our apply session. For apply, we're going to play a game of yes or no. All the children in year two will be very familiar with this as we, this is a game that we play quite often. We have to read the sentences and then decide is the answer yes or is the answer no. Or could it be either? So here is my first sentence. So I got, could the alien be born in August? Could the alien be born in August? What do you think? Yes, in fact, the alien could be born in August. It's definitely a possibility. Our next sentence is here now. Do you think the alien is a... Aid, afraid of sp a k speck? No, let me try again. Do you think the alien is afraid of sp a mm, well speck doesn't sound right, but sometimes we know that the letter C can also make a s sound. So do you think the alien is afraid of space? What do you think? I don't really think the alien could be afraid of space because that's where it lives. I mean, it could be a possibility, but for this one, I'm going to say no, as I think that's more likely to be our answer. On to our last sentence. Can the alien be m aid made out of st or straw? Can the alien be made out of straw? Well, this is a tricky one. I don't see why it couldn't be made out of straw. So for this one, I might put it in yes, as we don't really know. Sometimes in cartoons, we see different types of aliens, so it could be a possibility. Thank you for coming to my phonics lesson. I hope you really enjoyed it. Remember, you can always use some of these activities at home as well and make them up yourself to any sounds that you might feel you need some extra work on. See you soon.